Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about how to create pull down to refresh functionality in Flutter app. Basically you can add this in uh, any list view or uh, where your data is updating time to time from the API. In this video I will not going to tell you how to get data from the API or uh, I'm not fetching any kind of data from the API. You can add the particular method inside the particular method that I'm using here and you can update your data from here and let me show you a little bit of demo suppose this is your screen let me run this app once again so initially the data is uh, like uh, this is the image and this is the text you can add your text or image whatever you want you, you if you want to add list you can add and if you will pull down there will be icon that it will refresh when you will leave it. Now when I am going to leave it, it refresh the screen. So without any delay, let's get started. But before that, I just want to request you please subscribe and like the video. Now let's get started for this. Uh, uh, first of all, you need to import a package. The name of the package is pull to refresh. I will put the link of this code in the github and will share the link uh, in the description box you can copy paste my code in your uh, project or uh, you can change your change my code according to your use so first of all uh, this is my home screen this is this these are the basic things i'm uh, going to uh, tell this because uh, as a beginner you can also watch this uh, video it will help you a lot better so first of all this is my text data so initially it is like uh, i have given this text and initially this is the image and i am using a set image for now like assets and this capsicum.png image which is inside here so for now i am showing image and text so this is my data and i have initialized this so for this i have taken a refresh controller like this and initially I am making it false so when I will run this application it will not refresh by its own if you want uh, to make it uh, true then it will refresh so after that there is a scaffold and inside body there is a smart refresher if you want a particular UI to be a refresh after pull down then you can wrap that particular widget with this smart refresher i have wrapped my center widget with this that is why it is refreshing my whole data so this is the widget that is coming from the package that i have updated in pubspec yaml so this is smart refresher then on refresh there is a method that I have created on refresh by the name on refresh. So this is uh, the method here and I am updating the data child data and image data from here. When I am uh, pulling down the data is text data is changing like here and the image is also changing from here. You can add your method your API method inside this on refresh then when you pull down this particular uh, method will trigger and your API call will be initiated and your data will be updated. So this is the thing. Now let's move forward. Then again there is controller. This is the con uh, controller refresh controller that I have initialized here. Enable pull down. Yes it is true. Then it takes a child which is I have taken center you can use it according according to your requirement you can use column you can use list for now I am using column and then I have made it to center then inside children these are the two data so that is it from this video and hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now